Hey Cancer Cancer, how you doing? It's your girl Root. Welcome back to another weekly health advice from Spirit Ancestors Guide. Higher up, so higher self, divine source, all that you believe in. That love us, help us, protect us, forgive us, guide us, heal us, and teach us how to heal ourselves. Yeah, how y'all doing? How y'all been? I got a little twist. I found these cards, uh, chakra wisdom cards. And I thought they were pretty good. Um, so I said, yeah, let me let me see what we need to find out. So I'm going to ask a question after ask each set of three um, sets of cards that I pull. In between, I'm going to pull a card and, and ask a question and see if it goes with everything and what their advice would be. Okay? So let's get started, Cancer Cancer. How y'all doing? Hope everything's going great for y'all. How's y'all week? Taking care of your health. Your mind, body, soul, and spirit. You know, asking questions, moving people from around you that don't belong. Wondering why you're not moving to the next level. Could be your surroundings. Trying for time for something new. Okay. Never know. Might have to come back to that later, maybe. But might right now you might need I was listening to um what is her name? Uh the lady that sings uh uh Oh, shoot. Can't think of tweet. Uh, look over to the left. Had to touch myself, my song. <laughs> but uh, she was, I was listening to her life, and she was saying that um, the group, when she first started, the groups that she thought were going somewhere, it didn't go anywhere at that time. And uh, so she decided to go with someone else. And it ended up being very good for her. She met Missy Elliott. And uh, Missy, you know, helped her out and stuff. And a career hit. So sometimes you, you know, might have to move to someone else. It'd be movie star, whatever you're doing. And then now that she, uh, she's going back to the group that she had before. You know, and uh, the people that helped her at first. But she had to move around in order to learn those lessons and then come back to that person or people, you know. Never know how life does things, but you got to be woke to find out, you know, where. Clean your car. So maybe your car needs cleaning out. Uh, make sure nobody put nothing in it, okay? It could be you. could be people around you. Maybe you're giving, doing too much for people. And they're taking advantage of it. Always got to give them a ride. They'll never get no gas money. Whatever it may be. Okay. You know, you never know. Okay. So, uh, learn to love you. Okay. So, first card. Elbows. Make sure you're taking care of your elbows. Uh, exercising. Keeping them, you know, uh, intact. Maybe slapping them around a little bit. Get the blood circulating. Uh your glands, any glands that's uh, stuck or feeling swollen. Could be the perfume that you're using, making your elbows and your arm feel like that. Uh, sometimes it's good not to wear any cologne, uh, uh, cologne too, um, perfume. Or uh, make it yourself. You know, sometimes it clogs your pores and then it messes with your arms. I notice that a lot. My glands be swollen. Mine swollen because they took one of them out while I had the breast cancer. Uh, so that, that, that bothers my elbows my arm on the side of that, that vein so yeah so check that out let me see um see around these chakras shoulders breast stomach or it could be um yeah let's go with this one right here let's go with the fourth chakra uh the heart chakra according to what side is on the middle of the chest moves to the it moves in an anti-clockwise direction, flow of the energy, and connects to the astral auric body or emotional aura, re regulates th thymus, heart, lungs, circulation, hands, shoulders, breasts, and upper back, associated with love, generosity, compassion, and forgiveness, giving and receiving unconditional love, color green, so maybe with some color, green color. So yeah, maybe it's got to do with that if you have a problem with your elbows or something, okay? So let's see the next card. <clears throat> your knees. 
So yeah, maybe you're having uh, your postures wrong, you're kneeling wrong. Um, you know, you uh, you know, you're not lifting right. So you gotta watch that. And uh, how to, you know, learn how to kneel, how to do all those things, so you can keep your body flowing. And uh, if you have any arthritis or anything, or just had a uh, accident in it or injury, you know. Uh, follow direction on how you should do it and, and uh, you know, keep soak it and, and massage it and all that great stuff. Um, you know, find out more about what's going on. Now, um, I was looking on the chart and I see that's the first chakra and that has to do with um, the first chakra, the color red, the base chakra, the lotus of the four petals near the sacral joint at the bottom of the spine moves in a clockwise direction and connects to the physical auric body lower back adrenal glands blood skeleton feet knees hips teeth nails rectum and spine physical stability security self-sufficiency and responsibility for self connects to the earth and survival instincts so maybe you're feeling insecure about you know your life right now where the ends meet your money you know, that can make your knees hurt, you know. Wow, right? So your heart, you know, how are you doing your heart? Are you loving and caring? Unconditional love? You know, we just read that read that on the fourth chakra. You know, that can affect your lungs, your heart, your thymus, your circulation, your hands, shoulders, breasts, upper back. You know, your love, generosity, compassion, and forgiveness. You're forgiving people and, for, and apologizing to them was needed. Giving and receiving unconditional love, taking letting people be the people and not judging them, you know. So yeah. So let's see what the cards has to say. I'm gonna ask a question. Um let's see, unconditional love, like we said, or uh, either um forgiving. Okay, are we forgiving? Forgiving ourselves for the mistakes that we made. Let's ask the cards. How do you want to answer that? Okay. Uh oh. -uh. Yeah, I'll see what they got to say. So, you know, you can't make anybody do anything. You can all only do yourself, right? That's not turning out. See? Let's see what it wants to say. I should put one card out of here. Okay. Let's see, cancer, cancer. Yeah, having any issues and those problems I named earlier, that's why. And it fixing the body. Oh, there's two. I don't want two. I want only one. Still giving me two for you. If it do two again, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I was trying to just get one card. Okay, uh, still gave me two. Okay, Cancer, still want to give me two. Okay. First one is second chakra, sacral chakra. I know that I am truly worthy and deserve to receive the good things in life, and I give myself permission to have them. It is time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I aim to incorporate and embrace fun and joy in my life. I realize that all work and no play is a receipt recipe for energy flow, disruption, and exhaustion. I allow myself to experience and receive more pleasure in my life, and I am flexible to open and open to change. I am receptive to embracing activities and events that come my way, even those I may have avoided in the past. Okay, check that out. Okay, let's read a little more about that second chakra. Okay, it says the energy of the second chakra is concerned with change. With, okay, you don't want to change, <laughs> Cancer. We're creating form from formlessness. Our creativity, whether it is expressed artistically, academically, physically, or in intimate creative act, producing a child, okay, is the energy of second chakra. Second chakra energy is also the source of our sexuality. 
a free flow of energy energy through this chakra will be manifested as virtual vitality and a passionate approach to life. The name of the chakra roughly translates as to sweeten. As the energy of this chakra is con concerned with the pleasure of life, with desires, and with nurturing ourselves and our creativity, when it is balanced, this chakra brings an immense amount of pleasure into your lives. It allows us to see the beauty of the people and things around us and allows us to take delight in our own creative abilities and passion. If we have an excess of energy in this chakra, we may be overly focused on satisfying our desires or unaware or, or unwilling to acknowledge that it is not always necessary or healthy to have all our desires met. If we have depleted energy levels in this chakra, we may de de deprive ourselves of any pleasure or try to deny that we have any desires and thus strife, strifle our creativity and our passion. This, this chakra often referred to as the sacral belly or spleen chakra, okay? And the lower abdominal, color orange, uh, a lotus of six petals. So, okay, so, yeah, make sure you're uh, not pleasuring yourself too much. Let's see what the sacral chakra is over here. Did we do this already? Um, uh, the lotus petal, okay, we did that. A below the navel moves in the article. Uh, anti-clockwise direction it connects to the eth etheric arctic body ovaries or tes testicles kidneys bladder prostate pelvis body fluids adrenal glands large intestines and lower back sacrum sexuality sensitivity mental mentoring and honoring and nourishing ourselves changing creativity okay. Kind of self-explanatory, cancer, cancer. You'll know what that means. Okay. And the other one was uh, third chakra, solar plex, self-discipline. My self-discipline and willpower will signif significantly help me in my efforts to move forwards and grow. I am free of the need for the approval of others. I face each challenge with determination and courage, and I am determined to live my life to its full potential. I am strong and capable. My actions speak louder than my words. Okay. Hello. Okay, let's get a little deeper again. The energy of the third chakra is concerned with the personal power, our sense of our place in the world, our confidence in ourselves and our self-esteem are centered on this chakra. It is a seat of our will, our ability to stand by our convictions and carry out what we have willed is dependent on the energy of this chakra. With this chakra out of balance, we may be overly sensitive to the reactions of other people, feeling indifferent or coolness as rejection and anything less than total positive feedback as criticism of, of ourselves. Yeah, I made a comment to my brother. I was telling him he was so worried about getting my mom's um, and my sister and them's um, headstone on their graves. And I was telling him, to take, my mom said before she passed, he want to take him a vacation. So I mentioned that to him. He took offense. He said, yeah, I say he didn't have a life. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I don't want my mom. I'm not going anywhere. Everything's going to get taken care of. I don't want him to just focus on that. You know, but he took it the wrong way, and I didn't mean it that way. I love my brother. Our inner critical may also be operating at the level where we have little confidence in our capabilities, our worthlessness, or our chances of being loved. When this chakra is in balance, we are able to accept the responsibilities that are truly ours and be confident in our actions and abilities. We are able to deceive how we wish to act. And, they, and then maintain our chosen course of action. We will also be able to function without the approval of everyone around us. The courage and strength to be who we are without outside approval is a sign of health, healthy self-esteem. This chakra is often the solar plexus navel chakra. Located, uh, solar plexus yellow and 10 petals. So the third chakra right here. So you have any knees problems? 
um, with your pancreas, stomach, liver, spleen, gallbladder, small intestines, abdominal, ster sterum, and back, inner peace, personal power, self-confidence, self-work, self-acceptance, and trusting and accepting our gut feelings, self-esteem, relating to the world around us. So, yeah. That was uh, yours, Cancer. However, well, you're going to take that. Okay. I don't want to say anything wrong. Okay, let's go to the next set. Number two. Let's see what else they want to say. Okay. I know how sensitive y'all are, okay? I did not mean nothing like that to my brother. But it is what it is. Okay, let's see what else. Blood clocks, mucus. So make sure you're keeping your body clean. Do this look a little dingy, uh, Blood clocks and mucus. Make sure you're keeping your body cleaned out and everything, okay? And um, plenty of ways to do that. And uh, keep everything flowing. I uh, seen the blood a minute ago. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, that's the first chakra. Okay, man, we talked about that. I think that was, uh, yeah, the first chakra right here is base chakra. Red um, is uh, moves to clockwise direction. It connects to the physical or body. Lower back, adrenal glands, blood, skeleton, feet, knees, hips, teeth, nails, rectum, and spine, physical ability, stability, security, self-sufficiency, and responsibility for self, connection to the earth, and survival instincts. So maybe that's the blood clogs are doing, or something you're eating, or too much grease, or too much unhealthy food. Trying to stay away from meats and dairy as much as you possibly can. That ought to help as well. Okay, and the next one is path. What's your destiny reason for being here? Okay, so that is main thing we're just talking about right finding out who you are loving yourself i was trying to see on here uh, okay let's see mental okay we, wisdom detachment inspiration knowledge trusting and heart work. okay we're gonna uh i'm gonna go ahead to enlightenment yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull but yeah you know uh See what you find out who you are and what you need to do. Say you're retired and you're trying to figure out what else you need to do. Go with your passion, what you're passionate about, what you love. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was thinking about my brother just hit me. If he, you know, doing that, maybe he can go and, and make a business out of what he's doing, helping other people with their plaques. They're helping them uh, break down the payments and stuff. He has the money, <laughs> you know. Okay, so the next one is thighs. So, yeah, exercising will help a lot and, um, you know, patting, rubbing it, soaking it, uh, you know, getting your body together. I was trying to look on here as I go. Uh, and uh, see if there's thighs anywhere on here. Uh, thymus, I guess that's what it is, the fourth chakra. So, yeah, you know, if you're having trouble in those areas, could be um, low circulation. Or if it's too big, too small, plenty of videos on exercise on how to do that, you know. Nourish yourself, take care of yourself, you know. Little by little, if you're overeating or whatever and it's too big, you know, just take your time and, and go slow and, and you know, uh, little portions at a time. Maybe try to eat once a day, but little portions first. Then maybe once a day, drink a lot of water. Make you a lot of herbal teas, eat a lot of salads, you know, go little by little, okay? So let's see what the wisdom is saying. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I keep trying to do it that way. Let's see. One card for cancer, please. Y'all keep trying to get cancer. That was too many. They gave me three. 
Okay, they gave me one. And this is the first chakra we'll be talking about. I trust that my instincts are correct, and I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have, oh, we didn't ask a question. Okay, well, answer for us. I have an innate desire to be of service in life. As I tap into this feeling, I will know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. Boom, there it is. Just talking about that, right? So did we already read uh, First Chakra? You know, finding out what you came here to do, your path. It just got through saying that, right? Find out what the destiny is. You know, everybody came here to do something. Let's see. First chakra. The meaning of... The, uh, did we already read that? Let's make sure I ain't reading it again. Yeah. Second. Okay. So... The meaning of the first chakra, the root chakra, it is the first chakra that acts as the root and is concerned with our connection to the earth and our very basic fundamental needs for survival, sustain, sustain, sustainance, shelter, and the health of our physical body and safety. And the energy of this chakra is depleted or blocked. Our connection to nature and the world around us may be weakened. As a result, we are likely to feel spacey or ungrounded and less stable. In this condition, we may neglect our physical needs and we may become unhealthy and weak as a result of this neglect. And the energy of this chakra is overstimulated. We may become too attached to things of the physical world and place too much importance on material wealth and possession. We may be unable to develop the higher levels of our natural nature because we are afraid to risk losing these possessions. A miser, a person who is unable to enjoy their wealth for fear of losing it. It is the perfect example of energy of this chakra being out of balance. Okay? So be careful you don't not scared of losing your money and pass away and leave it anyway. Okay? So if you have any of these symptoms again, lower back, adrenal glands, blood, skeleton, feet, knees, hips, teeth, nails, rectal and spine, using the restroom, make sure you clean your body out. Physical disability, security, self-sufficiency, and responsibility for self, connection to the earth, survival uh, instincts. Go and breathe. Go to Mother Earth. Go and enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Go visit people. You know, laugh, joke, talk. You know what I'm saying? That would be nice when Brother did that. Come visit. Hmm? But it make me nervous when he comes. <laughs> I don't know. It's like he's judging me. I don't know. I love him so, but I don't like to be judged because I get like, uh, I'm going to do me. I can take your wisdom. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to put it into consideration if see if it fit. Okay. Let's see what the last one is. Cancer, cancer. I'm going to let you go. If you give me something. That's something falling. One. Uh oh, something flipped. Okay. Do I need to take these two? Okay. And let's see. Oh, one. Okay. Blood type. Find out to eat right and find out who you are. Very good to know. Okay. Type of person you are and uh, what you need to be eating, what you don't need to be eating. Everything in moderation. Okay. Um, yeah, the type of person. Maybe you're looking for a mate or want a mate. So, uh, like I say, I'm if I'm A and that person is O, they're kind of, you know, straightforward, kind of little rude. I'm kind of sweet and, you know, compromising. So they're not, it's not going to work unless we both worked on each other. So, you know, find out what a person's blood type and for yourself and for your mate. Office yard clean. Make sure you get Mother Nature's edible products out your yard that's very healthy first. Clean your office and, you know, maybe get more organized, and, you know, get yourself organized. So, you know, things might come in a whole lot better for you this year. Brand new year now. Okay. So, let's see the last uh, wisdom cards. See what they have. I'm not going to try to flip them. I'm just going to do them this way. Okay. That, oh, that, that one should have flipped out anyway. That didn't go with nothing, y'all. That was just this card here. 
Yeah, I should have been took that out. Let's see, cancer, cancer. What they want you to work on. Uh, what cancer need to be working on, okay? Main issue. Okay. Seventh chakra, crown chakra, okay? When my mind sways negatively, I'm I remind myself. I remind myself of love, truth, gratitude, and spirit. I am the overseer of my thoughts, and I do not let them bring me down. I remind myself to have gratitude and acceptance for what is and to have the courage of my convictions. I continually pursue a clearer understanding of spiritual truths behind all that is and all that is unfolding. I ask myself, is what I'm thinking the truth? And is it having a positive or negative impact on my life? Okay, boom. Hey, hello. Okay, a little reading on that. Cancer, cancer. Seven chakra is about insight, inner knowing, and self-realization. It is the home of our spirituality and our connection with the divine. Uh, the thousandfold, referring to the number of petals of the lotus that represents this chakra. It symbolizes the unlimited nature of our thought process. This chakra is port the portal through which the energy that is human life force enters the body. From the seventh chakra, this energy filters down through our, every other part of the body and through each of, the, of our other chakras. The strength and vitality of this energy as a person reflects their level of personal development. Developed to its full potential, the energy in this chakra brings the highest level of consciousness and is an indication that the person has mastered the challenges of all other chakras. Many healers and mystics believe that mankind, as a part of evolution process, is moving towards an ever larger number of people who are fully developing this chakra. When the majority of people have developed the crown chakra, it is expected that the humankind will take a great step forward away from the needs and conflicts of lower chakras toward a more spiritual-oriented existence. This chakra is the crown chakra, the core chakra, coronal chakra, okay, color violet, 100, 1,000 petals, okay, let's see, that's the seventh, and if you have any of these issues, crown chakra, 1,000 petals, um, Pineal gland, skull and brain, grace, beauty, serenity, oneness with all, our divinity, selfless, realization, understanding, and enlightenment, mental health, knowledge, and spiritual enlightenment. Okay, Cancer, Cancer, you don't know what that means, okay? Well, it's your girl, Ruth, signing off, and I appreciate y'all listening. Until next week, y'all uh, like, subscribe, share, and comment, and y'all take care, okay? Love y'all. Bye.